another exciting, revealing, and interesting interview right here on the Untold Story. Welcome to the show. This is the Untold Story. My name is Betty Yostin. I will be doing this with my colleague Michael Insian Oche, and we have a special guest on the show. He is a weightlifter, and he has represented Ghana very well in all major international tournaments at the Commonwealth Games, at the All African Games at the olympics he's been fantastic at what he does and he's no other than christian amwa and today is going to be exciting you know how we always do it bringing you the untold stories the revealing stories of your favorite sports personality my name is betty yorton and i will be co-hosted by michael insia ocho christian welcome on the show thank you very it's, much it's exciting to have you here I know coronavirus has, I mean, affected sports globally, but how badly has it affected you as a weightlifter? Um, it has really affected me because I have um, my last competition to compete before the Olympics, which okay. was last year, April, sorry, this year, April, but due to the um, pandemic, um, they postponed everything. So mm. I think... Was it to qualify for yes, something? That was that was my last qualify to qualify for the olympics oh yes but because and were you closer in qualifying i was very close wow i was very close that was going to be your second olympic appearance yes. wow interesting very young 21 years you are doing so well in weightlifting is weightlifting that lucrative in ghana um i would say yes because due to our performances and, and stuff i would say when when football is not available, weightlifting is number one. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> because um, with, with people say boxing, but you've changed the story today. <laughs> when bo when football is not there, weightlifting, weightlifting is second on the list. Because we are we are ranking in medals. Mm. Because even this year we've won a lot of medals, and even last year also we did the same. If we're talking about medals, then weightlifting is first. Yes. Because so football, uh, when was the last time we won something? Because football is the passion of the nation, okay, so, so I'll say, are yes, using passion for yes, football. I'll, I'll give that number one to football. Mm. But for second, I'll say weightlifting. Okay. How did weightlifting start for you? Because at, as a very young guy, I know every male <laughs> child is, was once a footballer. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so how did you find the interest? in this sport, weightlifting, which is not really recognized in Ghana? Um, for me, the way I started my life was kind of difficult a little. I won't say a little, it was really hard for me. And then, um, I, I, if you read my story, mm -hmm. I'm a stone cracker before knowing Now weightlifting. I'm a pine boba. I'm a pine boba. weightlifting. So, my my father went and cracked stone for um, Ghana weightlifting coach, which um, may he so rest in peace, um, Ubudu, okay. our former coach. Mm. And then I used to go to gym, and then I love lifting heavy stuff. And so my father introduced me to the coach, and then he said, "Okay, fine, he will um, give me a try." So I came there. I came, sorry, I came to join weightlifting one day, and then the coach said, "Okay, cool." Then I think I can do it. So that's where I started weightlifting. Mm. How old were you then? I was 16. 16? Yes. And you, at that, before weightlifting, your profession was cracking stones. That was no, what not you profession, doing. like... I mean, that was what you were doing for the That was what I was doing. <laughs> like, that was to just, you know... Survive. To, yeah, to survive. Mm. For the meantime, because, I mean, things were... But really were you tough. schooling too? Yes, I was in school. Okay. Yes. But I, I, I didn't continue my SHS because of my father passed away and then things oh, were really so, messed up. So, so bad. Yes. So after, okay, so after your dad introduced you to the coach, the coach saw that you had the potential. Yes. And then he introduced, introduced you to the sport. Yes. 16 years, you entered weightlifting. Yes. How has the journey been so far? Um, it has been really tough, you know, starting a game like this without any manager, anyone taking, so even sometimes I'll be coming to training for like a month and then I'll stay home for like two months. Just Why? To, because I don't have anyone to help me come to training, so I'll just go and do ala ala and then get some money and then the ala ala no. oh, yeah, which is like everything. maybe missing, weeding work and then like the cracking stone and then come back to weightlifting for like a month again and then I'll okay. go back to my local job again. Your local job? Where, where, where were you staying then? Um, I was staying at a black man. 
so from Ablukuma to stadium. Stadium. Yes. Uh, did you ever, I mean, trot to to the stadium to to train because there was um, no money? No stadium, but I used to walk from Ablukuma to Kaneshi. Yeah, okay, there is uh, another training center. At no, Kaneshi. like I'll pick a, um, you know, there's a. Okay, so you walk to Kaneshi, then you pick. Thomas Station car from Kaneshi to Thomas Station, then I walk here. Wow. Yeah. Well, Stephen, uh, no, sorry, um, Christine, you 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 were introduced into the game by um, your late coach, yes. uh, Magic Fetish. Yeah. Um, now, once upon a time, you were cracking stone. Yes. So, where was it also in your life that you you became a, a, a bus conductor? I mean, trot from it, um, shuttling between Sawem Suhum. When was that? I was I was still in that um, stone cracking job. So you were cracking stone, cracking stone, and, and then I, I got into the trotter meat. Wow. Now he, the guy that introduced me to that even trotter that was like he's like a brother to me. Okay. So he once told me, "Oh Charlie, me nyaka bio until so then." And then I said, "Okay, Charlie, me too. I'm not doing it." And the stone too is very hard. Mm. You know, sometimes we be boy, we be boy with me. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, okay, I'm a so and then I started a um, meeting and so. And so, so, and so, so, so for how long did you do this stone cracking and photo meet? How, how many years? Um, stone, the stone cracking, I would say like four years or something because I was young when I started, it was my papa mm. almost 30. It was before. like a family Yeah, you know, it started at Okay. Son, we may be fig a crab, fourteen, fifteen more, Sana. You be home mate in a sentinel. Tama may bust stadium in our army mate. If you may first competition, I may call Boswana, a buy, crown pono, uncle for who say, make two kind and then bust on an army mate. Yeah. Why, why, why were you still in it? Was it that you didn't get a lot of money from it? Because you took kind of our castle bear fresher. I mean, a bit disturbing also, and then things wasn't going really well. Mm. So I have to go back to Vienna if you buy and then start a new life again. So yeah, a bit me as I okay because now me need any trust in weightlifting again because now me can say, yeah, at least me to come back cramp on. I say, many medal, silver medal, at least I said, government need to me one home bank. But you were given nothing, I was given nothing, and you had to use your own money, money to go. To go home and everything so Mr. Saria let me go back and then do my cracking stone and then meet and Christian you are a very like should be told you're a very hard working determined young man because not many young men will push so hard yeah. despite knowing the fact that you are having a lot of difficulty you could have do, I mean do anything instead yeah. of focusing on weightlifting and also trying other means to get the needed fans to, I mean, push yourself through the sport. At what time or at what point did you get your breakthrough, yeah, your breakthrough in weightlifting? Um, I would say that was um, 2016. Mm. Yeah, that was when I went to uh, Malaysia. I didn't get any money, but I, I saw that um, there's opportunity coming because I went to Commodore Games. I had, um, I would say I had a little money, but um, there was so much expenses that are, as I say, in tier mm. for my family and you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah Papa, they like taking loans for their um, and more So and you are the one supposed to pay, pay everything. So wow. I did all those things for my family, and then every month be So 2016, when I had my first American visa, and then I said, okay, maybe on a one day, one day, and I know say. Say man, yes, she cramp. Ghana with left and I say Ghana, yes, she am a macron at least. Many of us are be a meeting in their cotton and be be a meeting in Sudia and they are filming with their food. So that, that's when you had that thought yeah. of maybe traveling to America and probably starting life. I, mean, to take I, care I, of I won't family. say America, uh, sorry, America will help me. But you but thought, yes. uh, but, uh, of course. Obviously, I mean, you'll we'll be an in say America there. Yeah. Mm. Okay, oh, definitely. Yeah, be the, would be, would be better oh, for so, for so, cry. You can be able yeah. to break through. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you, when we talk of Christian Amo, I mean, we know you've done a lot yeah. in weightlifting, won a lot of medals. I have followed you guys on one or two occasions to 
um, rush energy producers of rush energy yeah, doing, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 showing yeah. your medals to some companies. What kept you going? Because you would have easily been devastated and even stopped weightlifting. After all, it's not even really recognized in the country. What yeah. kept you going? Um, for me, if I, if, if I do something for you and then you don't appreciate me, I mean, I, I, I don't care. I still want to do it. I know that one day, one day, you will appreciate. Mm. So that's something that always keeps me going because mm. I know that I'm not the only person that I'm not getting help from this country. But at least I know one day help will come from somewhere. Mm. Yeah. So, well, now, how has life been now so far? How is life? Is it, um, is it my, a little comfortable? We are just we are just pretending everything is fine, but oh, it's not. It's not. Yes. It's still it's still not. That's it's why it's winning. The, That's I mean, why I'll, winning I'll, all the medals I'll, for I'll, Ghana. I'll, 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 um, I give thanks to God because now I'm not cracking stone. Mm. At least I know people who, if I say, oh Charlie, and then share me home, they will give me ten CDs, mm. fifty CDs or something. But things are still the same. You've been to major tournaments. You've been to the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. You've been to the Olympic Games, you've been to the All-African Games, and all that. Won so many medals. I mean, Christiana, what does it mean that weightlifting is not really lucrative in Ghana? I, 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 don't, I don't really know, because we are doing our possible best. We talk on social media, we do everything, but mm. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the media is not, I mean... On your side. On, on our side, mm. because... Me particular, me to make consumer like Ujine Chira, you feel so like Nyaman Kosu ye, but still now, so the Nyamatian sanity. So, then you have nothing to do, we just keep on going. Mm. And then, is, is your mom also alive? Yeah, mom is alive. Is your mom currently proud of you? No, really. What you are doing? No, really. Yeah. Why? Because, you know, because of the situation. So, she, she, what? Does she want you to find a job and stop weightlifting? Yeah, that's what me busi and for now. They said just look for a job, blah blah blah. But me so me for say one day, one day, no, weightlifting must might pay off. So mm. I'm still in it. So currently they are on you, yes. giving you pressure to, to stop weightlifting yes. and concentrate, concentrate on, finding, on a job finding a job to take care of the family. Yeah, because me me and then Oshie me busi I'm the only person that I'm feeding um, people like a lot of people so mm. if things are not going well for me uh, you can imagine the pressure that I face mm. yes. what's the biggest money that you, you you got from all your international tournament uh, with games mm. that I went and even when I came back yeah. that was that was come games and then the Olympics and even that time I was having a lot of troubles with you know me papa you know we have mm. to pay some money and then loans and stuff so once it's kind of so there's not much mm. so so the, it was commonwealth games and olympics yes. how much did you how much were you i mean did you get um i would say close to two thousand yeah close to two thousand dollars yes two thousand dollars the biggest money you've got yes in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I i i i i'm just i mean dumbfounded because the sort of feeling some of us who have followed weightlifting during, I mean, the late Majid Fertil's time and uh, several others, Abotis, and when we, we see you, I mean, mountain platforms, especially at the Olympics mm. in Rio, the, the kind of excitement you get. So, um, Christian, as you were saying, um, sometimes you guys need to pretend to make it look as if all is well. But deep within you, you know all is not well. Yes. W with all that you've gone through, yes, you are still young, 21 years of age. When you get opportunity to switch nationality, to compete for any other country, will you do it? Um, for me, I, w I, I won't say like, me switching nationality because I had a woman. And then I know, say, like I said, one day, one day, things will change, maybe. But for national, me switching my nationality now. It's not something that you've thought, no, you've no. thought of. But, uh, I mean, um, Christian, you are so good at what you do. And we've seen you on international platforms, lifting heavy metals, winning medals and all that. 
you said that you when people do stuff for you and they don't really appreciate you that's what that's what really motivates you to do yeah. more so that you'll be recognized but what is your focus what do you seek to achieve with the weightlifting um i just want weightlifting to become the first sports in Ghana because mm. we know now everything is about football football will just go for a, a one competition and then we'll be see fear and the and for you now <laughs> with lifting we'll go for one competition and then we'll be doing here what we are seeing now so we're just looking forward to i mean overcome all those stuff because your own collab is more and more to me me say no we want to want to join weightlifting, but me me show me situation maybe will be able now. I just ask them me honey panel. So anytime I tell them to wait, we are still fixing things. So if everything gets well, I will, I will just. So you are not really advising people to join um, join the sport because um, of the current situation. Yes, because like Odi will be better by and then. I remember one time me few comedians by and I introduced one guy to with left and then I spent a lot on the guy. Me who is a madam for no so me trying to learn fed you be the and then one day me couldn't feel some make of fun no. Well um his father told me say you man away you know me but no to me yeah person bobo okay fine until my wisdom is sick okay okay no me me forget here so you see another me then in kwala back back about but and you say be a big brain na me share the be a me so me kwai one two one two a chroma Meet me in a cacadia of pushing up, oh Charlie. The tense you end up a bra training. Me nebby a moa and for so me nebby a never. So aside weightlifting, I mean, what do you do? I don't to, do to anything. I don't really do anything. So how do you survive? The only problem. Me, we say na kwe te adi. We study ye ubi anim. Ono na sometimes ye bibi ni ana. Macon and I a president and so mm. you are my friend now Bibi Kakrano the man. So you rely body. on these individuals. Yeah. And no cramp or no say we be bit mamma or second. You can't always yes. be going so, here. Yeah. And sometimes you know, as I see it to me a yo a la 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 mm. son I bit me either. Mm. Uh, with all that you've enumerated on, I mean yes, things are not going on well with regards to weightlifting in Ghana. Have you thought of, I mean, positioning yourself well in the sport that is in the next five, six, ten years, Christian Amor will probably become a coach in the field or an administrator when it comes to weightlifting? Because we've seen several others, and I mean, the names goes on and on. Lante, um, and um, they have forgotten several names. Yeah. They've all tried to one way or the other position themselves to become administrators, coaches and what have you. Have you thought of that? Um, for now, I'm not looking forward to become a coach or to coach somebody in this gym or something, but I just want to be in a good position that I will also help the kids come to training, mm -hmm. introduce more people to the sports so that they will know that weightlifting is also sports that is um, helping the nation so that people will also come on board and then help. That's what I want to do. As we sit here, um, are you owed by government? Um, yes. A lot. <laughs> to the team of <laughs> how much? Uh, Close to three thousand dollars. I would say yes. Because and the last time I checked, it was somewhere around. I mean, something around that region. That is how come I got three thousand dollars. Um, so, so yeah, what are they telling? Yeah. Nothing like. Any time you ask, they will be like, "Oh, we are on it. We are working on things." And what, what will you say? And they are from which yeah, which yeah. which um, competitions? The death. Um, I would say many because I can't I can't even mm -hmm. mention all because I've been to a lot of comp competition that um, Nuno Mensa is the one that uses his own money mm -hmm. to pay us. Mm -hmm. Like I haven't gone for um, championship that I've received like two hundred dollars before. Really? Yes. You have not competed for Ghana at international level. And be, you, you've not received anything higher than two hundred dollars. So even yes. at the Olympic Games, that, that's um, games. Okay. But championship, no. Individual okay. championship. That. No, I haven't received more than two hundred dollars. So how, how much do you receive? Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Yes. As per yes. diem. As per diem. Even that one, um, our president will say that's his own pocket money. So mm. we should just manage it for the meantime. If the government gets involved. 
he will call us and then settle us. But so in Uganda, a couple of years back when you guys won, I mean over twenty medals, it was a championship. Yes, you were paid hundred dollars. Um, the Uganda championship, I went, I went over myself. Yeah, and then I paid the ticket myself. Everything that went on was my own money just to qualify for the Olympics. We know how ultimate um, Olympics is, so everybody want to go to the Olympics. So I did everything myself, expecting that when I come home with my gold medal, at mm. least you I'll get half of my money or even just $200 to appreciate what I went there to do, but they didn't do nothing. Christian, you know, you have a very good brand. You, I mean, you've seen how you perform when you go for international tournament. Don't you think it's about time that your federation uses you to seek for sponsorship from corporate body or make you an ambassador of maybe a company? That's where maybe you start. You know, we have a lot of companies endorsing sports yes. men and women. Don't you think it's about time they use your brand for such? Yeah, I'll, I'll be glad if that happened, but I don't know where to start it and I don't know who to tell, I mean, this to, I don't know who to say, oh, Charlie, say this, say this. I'm just looking up to them. Mm. Whatever they will do, I'm, I'm available. In your six years, almost six years, um, I mean, in weightlifting, what has been your best moment? Um, I would say that's when I went to US. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, like, that place is very relaxable. Like, I won't say nobody will be shouting at me mm. doing this. You enjoyed it. I, at least I had my peace of mind to train. Mm. But for here, Charlie, then I made the training at China. Always thinking. But when I'm in the US, I know that Charlie, the coach, the friends, or the cover of a family, I could train. I made the year, Christian, you go to a But how many countries have you? visited so far a lot a lot yes. over 10 more than hey <laughs> <laughs> you are touring but but christian you you spoke about your experience in america or u.s if michael asked the question earlier if you are to get a club or maybe a school in in the u.s and they want you to come there i know you want to make ghana weightlifting the number yeah. one sport in ghana that's why you are so dedicated to the sport. But then if you get the opportunity to travel to any of the European countries to continue your sport there, are you going to gladly accept that? Um, if, if I go there to train for Ghana weightlifting, like a training tour, but I will spend like a year or two, that will be fine. Mm. But switching my nationality will be like a sellout mm. because I won't say weightlifting hasn't done anything for me at least. They, they got a visa for me to go to America and they once bought me a ticket to go to America. So mm -hmm. I just want to show that appreciation to them for them to know that at least I didn't betray them or something. Mm. Mm. So that, that's, that's the yes. main reason why you would. Okay. O okay, now, I mean, with all that you have done so far for weightlifting, what should we expect from Christian in the, in the years to come? Um, for now, I'm just looking forward to qualify for the Olympics. Mm. But and then I'm still waiting for the border to open and then um, this pandemic issue to get over here and then we see what we can do. Because me myself, due to the situation that I'm facing, mm. I, I, I said I was going to quit weightlifting this year after the Olympics. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Because, because of the financial challenges. Yes. Because I mean. In so the entire country, you know, the war, because mm. uh, I said to myself, said Charlie, I can't take this anymore. But have you rescinded that decision, or is still hold? Um, said the pandemic in Abena, so I was still left for um, for Ghana at the Olympics if I qualify, and mm. then if I get any financial support, if I get any good money or if i get anyone to support me i'll keep on going because i'm still young mm. yeah. but but have you have you have you talked it over with your president ben i would say they know everything mm. okay yes so currently why because I'm, I'm 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a type of person and they know everything about you me. you don't hide this. anything i don't hide anything mm. so they know everything about me so even sometimes i don't even feel like i am the one to talk for myself mm. at least i have 
say something to my other people and then they're supposed to do something but but talk of financial i mean um, backing or support recently the government announced the 500 cities package right through the ye uh, for athletes during this covid 19 period um your, your outfit have you been briefed have you have, have they submitted your name um, we haven't had um, we haven't heard anything from them mm. and even if they've done something without our knowing i would say we appreciate the why mm. but i would say um for me for instance the vitamins alone i use is almost like three thousand wow. yeah so giving me 500 i would say it's fine it will i mean save me from somewhere but it's not it's not much so how how do you get your vitamins i'm i borrow wow yeah you, you 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 credit yeah I credit from people from people yeah. and then uh, how do you pay and then later when i get the money like when i go for a competition and then i get like hundred dollars or something i'll just go to the first challenge see number nine so that you turn the later i'll come in could it could it could it be that the fact that you are always qualifying for um tournament international tournament in your day now day because you yeah. know where you're coming from yeah so if you know if you don't get there how, how will i survive mm. and how will i i mean what will i do with my life so anytime as our mentality in the material so you credit vitamins then you take them go and represent ghana, ghana. at the world whatever global tournament then you win medals and then when you come back you use your own money to go and pay your debt yes how do you feel when you go through all these things knowing very well that you are working so hard to put the name of ghana up there and sometimes I, sometimes i feel very bad and even like i sometimes spend like more than eight hours thinking about all this i know i, I sometimes take like two three days thinking about all these things mm. like my boy, my home, my day, I'm doing everything. So, we'll be a crown to me in Castle or Charlie. I'll give this money to the, this guy to, mm. I mean, just to depend on and then come to train regularly or something. But I don't get the opportunity. So, we are still living in it. If you have anything to say to the authorities in charge of sports in Ghana, what would it be? Um, what I would say is they shouldn't look down on us. We are all into sports. Mm. In our year, ball man, we are helping the nation, so they shouldn't help one sport only mm. with lifting athletics, no football, no, you know, you can't be man, yeah, sports. We mm. football free man, only a year, we should wear only a year, you know, you can't be near sports. It's not a funny papa who say minister of youth and sports, mm. so yes, Reno say the minister of youth and sports, and it's, it's not about football, it should be all sports, mm. so yes, Reno. So um um bra other disciplines, no no some be boy because ye na ye boy man. What's the lifespan of a weightlifter? <laughs> I mean for how long can you be in the sport? Um I'll say like um, depending on the age that you start. Mm. So but I'll say the end age will be like um, close to thirty So you 30. have like nine years more? Yes. You have like nine years yes. more. And do you see yourself strictly being in the sport till you retire because you didn't you said you, you you don't you haven't actually considered going into administration and coaching so within that nine years what is your what, what are your plans and um, within that nine years if i get a good support mm. i'll still be in it because nine years is a very long but way. if you don't you if quit. i don't i'll quit yes but i want to be real yes with all these i mean yes nine years still to go 21 do you see or would you love to see your children taking weightlifting as a, a sport and work <laughs> um i mean I, I i don't know how to answer this question but you know i don't know what my child or my son will say about weightlifting mm. if he or she is interested in weightlifting mm -hmm. i won't say Men quiet. Mm. But if I if I see say weightlifting is still doing what he's doing now, mm. I will not advise my. Mm. But son do, do you think something can change about this sport? Mm, yes. You think it will get there one day? Yeah, yeah, I think. But do you think, in your opinion, and you being very fair and objective, 
Do you think the federation in charge of the sport, they are doing their best? Um, or you think there, there is more they need to do? I think th there is more they need to do. Because mm. if, if, I, if, if I will say, or if I, I will look from where, what my president has been saying, mm. I think he is doing 100%. But at my back, I don't know. Mm. But in front of me, I would say he's doing 100%. Mm. But with this situation, the Sikasema Ebasa and Esanyama, I think he said he do more. Mm. Yes. Uh, and more, what would you suggest? Um, by seeking for sponsorship and stuff, like me, like this, you know. If, say, me was sponsorship, I mean, Tanafi and Bob Rabia, because mm. weightlifting, I'm a fan of me, Bibia. So. Say sponsorship, not say BBI, okay. I, 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 I'll still left. Mm. I, will, I won't be on this um, platform saying it's a mequity and answer you, sir. No, because mm. nine years there, I can do a lot. Mm. Yes. Now, there is no sport. We all know because of coronavirus. What are you doing currently? Um, nothing. We are just staying safe. <laughs> you are staying safe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are staying safe. Yes. <laughs> okay, and you train? Yes, I train. So, I mean, are you doing some side business to survive? Because there's no money coming from anywhere. Yeah, for now, I mean, like, how I started everything. So, I thought, say, weightlifting might give me money that, say, I a fear cramp when I know, so, training, I made it. I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it, into me and yes, sir. Mm. So, see, see, and as I may, may, person may hear one, two, one, two, maybe page, maybe say, be a security service, maybe now, may what I could share more and answer, it may be a every mommy, scatter crana, my dear, a shaming one. And also, so me go for so. now, you are, you are considering probably going to the security service. Yeah, I'll say yes. Okay, I, I, the, 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 okay. the problem here is security service, and the mini, I'm a call. But I go say Olympics ne sanya manyama nti no ama. But there are sports people in the security. Yeah, service. but depending on if they are time or they the the like the recruiting time. Hmm. Bit me abanu say be Olympic time no. Me be a border na. I say say me training serious na be side so. I'm still looking forward to that. Hmm. Yeah, but, but but then what do you do to survive now? I don't do anything. Me call. I mean, craft work or this kind of On top of it? On top of it. On top of Okay. Mike, you had something for him? Yeah, I was, I was just trying to find out from him. Um, talking about the security services, yes, I know several athletes uh, have enrolled or enrolled in the um, security services. Is it something you've talked about with your bosses, and I mean the president and the minister and his executives? Um, I'm, I'm not the only one looking for that job. Mm. I'm not the only one seeking for that job. There's a lot of lifters here who are crying for the security service, but what they tell us is we are working on it. Who tell, who tell Our you? Our president okay. and then the other people. But it's, it's been long in coming. Yeah, I'll say yes. Okay. I'll say chira chaka kra. <laughs> chira chaka kra. <laughs> well, Christian, we will be wrapping up very soon. I mean, you have such an inspiring story there, and we hope that with all that you are doing for weightlifting, you get to benefit from it one day because I've watched you severally on most of your international competitions. I watch on TV and even you beating a lot of strong white guys, I mean, a lot of strong African guys in global tournaments, it means that you are very good at what you do. So, currently, you, you made mention that the YEA package, it's, you thank them, but it's, it's not really enough. How much were you hoping to get from, from government? Um, I didn't know, like... It will I, even come. Yes, I didn't know. That's mm. why I say we appreciate them. We need that simple. It will be in, sir. Mm. So we just manage it and say mm. thank you to them. Uh, then, you think it has come at the r a very right time? Yeah, I would say yes, because this pandemic, you know, nobody did anything for mm. us. Mm. Your president, you know, we might move, you know, we'll manage it. But mm. for the government, I don't know. They didn't do anything. For me, I would say they didn't do anything for me. Mm. Yes. They are me, 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 nobody did anything for me. Mm. And say, I can't, I'm a poor nation now. I would say, I'm a So what I say, like, 
I, I don't expect the government to be catch him say yet to change and know I have salary. So me could you not lie. Mm. Abraham me, me left your man nation. So what if some GM money we know me nyaya rainy? They they will dump me because yeah. they will force it be a many rainy. Mm. But me protecting me home of feeling so I expect that they will come and then say so Christian, you. but nobody came around and then mm. support so no, no, the, what we are doing at home is we are staying safe from mm. this mm. coronavirus. Mm. So that is Christian Amwang, national weightlifter, and he actually lived for Ghana. He has been to so many international tournaments, won so many medals from gold to silver to bronze. He is so good at what he does. It, 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 it's such a, a pity that, I mean, assets like this, we don't really invest in them. And the good news is that at least the sport has brought him from stone cracking to where he is currently. We just hope that the, 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 the authorities, the right authorities, will look into their issue and support them in a little way that can sustain them, for them to also move on or go on with the sport. It has been the Untold Story. My name is Betty Yos. Now, our guest was Christian Amoa, Ghanaian weightlifter. And Michael Insian Watcher was my co-host. Before we come your, your way again, peace out.